Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Allie, and this is Allie's All About Minis. As you can see, it's snowing. It's been snowing. It is now, oh, almost one o'clock on Thursday. It has been snowing since yesterday. <laughs> uh, it snowed a little yesterday morning, and it's been snowing ever since when uh, last night early last night so I stayed home from work today and I thought maybe I'd get a video done so today I wanted to show you all the places that I shop for my minis uh, all kinds of stuff miniature supplies to furniture to other things that I am going to be using on this dollhouse and so now hopefully I can turn it it finally made it into the studio Oh, we're zoomed in real close. Um, it made it into my little studio that I've been building. Now you can probably get a little bit better look at it. Let me move the tripod back a bit. Um, it's going to need a lot of work. Where This is a work in progress. It's, I'm planning on at least a year for this because it, it you know, completion. It needs windows. I've just ordered the front nine windows um there's six here seven eight nine and the doorway um i'm not gonna lie this is gonna take a while because everything is very expensive when you're in minis each window and i was particular about the windows i wanted um each window is eight dollars I was informed that um, they are going up as well so they're going up to ten dollars from where I got the windows and and I mean I can't blame them everything is going up these days so you're talking in a week or so if I wanted to do these nine windows it would be ninety dollars just for the front of the house there's plenty more windows there's two on each side and a bunch on the front so anyway that'll be a haul for next week because it should be arriving by Saturday okay that's a good shot my cup of coffee over here to the side because I just got in from trying to clean off my car and uh, yeah that didn't last very long the first thing I wanted to show you was Dollar Tree believe it or not you can get things at Dollar Tree. Now they're not always the correct scale. They're not always exactly the way you want it. Um, but here's just a piece of wood, right? Just a regular piece of wood. Did not have the pencil line, that's from me. Um, I bought this to, oh, see now we got to pan back over to the dollhouse. To put in this section up here and it actually fits perfectly across but I do have to trim this part away see so then it'll match this part when we paint it of course obviously you get to now look how old this wood is just by the color that's not stained at all it's just natural okay so now one thing that I always need I'm cutting like little mini things out is these little detailing scissors these are always good to have for anything for like fussy cutting and stuff like that for card making um, but I find these are really good for tiny little things so I just bought myself a pair of those last week okay the other thing I bought was in the toy section they had well most of this stuff is actually the rest of it is from the toy section is they had these cute little fuzzy puppies they came in a they each came they were separate they each came in a little tiny dog house and I thought oh my gosh those are so cute I love them <laughs> so I got those two guys then I found this table. Now everybody's probably seen this table at Dollar Tree. Um, it's like a hallway table or a sofa table. 
or something. Um, the doors don't open, but I've seen plenty of videos where they've made it open or they've taken the knobs off. They've altered it in some way. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Once we get to the interior, um, we'll decide how I'm going to, I mean, it's not going to be plain like this. I'll probably at least, at the very least, paint it or stain it, um, maybe add something to it. But yeah, that's a good scale, right? This scale is, I mean, if I'm measuring it, it's about two and a quarter inches high. So that's two and a half feet. For the one inch scale so that's a good scale but then you go in the same collection and you find this bed now this bed is never going to be big enough for a one inch scale you figure um a six inch doll would be six feet tall uh, this is about three and a quarter inches. Oh, I know what I have. Three and a quarter inches. Hold on, I got a little guy who's meant to be for a different video, but we'll show him here. You can see this little guy. Uh, he'd have to curl up, and he does bend, so he would have to curl up to kind of sleep in this bed. You can see. Like that. <laughs> He's so cute. I love him. Anyway, so this scale is not good for this house, but I only bought this because I was making a little. Well, this guy can sleep in it, but I was making a little log, like a house that's in a log, for um, a little creature. I haven't finished it yet, so I will eventually just put it up here. And continue on from there but um, this little little bed probably would fit in there um, I would say this is again for a six foot doll I mean I don't even know what scale that would be I'd have to figure that out but for lengths of this video let's continue to the next place I get some stuff for my minis so the next place I got some stuff was from Wish. You never know what you're going to get from Wish when you order it. Um, I did order some balsa wood strips. It came just like this. I don't know why I thought I would be able to use this on my Cricut when my Cricut gets here. Um, I, I bought a used Cricut um, from a friend of mine, and she still has it at her house, so I have to go over and get it. But... This is really thin balsa, and um, I think they the measurements were listed in, uh, I want to say millimeters, so I did, really had no clue. I didn't think about it. I just ordered it with a bunch of other stuff, but you can see how truly thin it is. It curves, which might not be bad if you're doing something curved. I mean, it, it can really, really curve. So... If you're making a curved piece of furniture or, you know, you want to curve around, make if something's like a dome or whatever, this would be good for that. But I'm holding on to it in case I need it. It's small enough I can store it, but um, it's not what I thought it was going to be. So I got that. Then the other thing I got at Wish is this little... What would you call this? A stamp, I guess. It is a silicone mold, and it is a stone pattern. Sorry about the crinkle. I want to try and keep it clean, though. It's a stone pattern. You can see how deep it is. And I wanted to try and do uh, maybe a stone wall or... Something I'm going to try to use this with air dry clay. We'll see how that works. I'll, we'll try that in a, in a video soon. Um, but I wanted to try it for a fireplace. It could also be for a walkway or a patio, that kind of thing. 
it's a good scale. I'd say, yeah, six inch to to one foot rocks is about right for a one twelve scale. So I just don't know how they're going to connect. We'll see. Um, there's got to be some feasible way to make it connect without looking like it's cut off. So we'll see. We'll try it out and we'll look. But again, it was, I probably paid a dollar for this. You know, plus the shipping because they get, that's where they get you on Wish. Um, the other thing I got were these metal cutouts. Um, you use this on your, on a Big Shot machine or anything equivalent to that. I thought these would make some fun picture frames. Now you'd have to cut it out of some heavy, heavy cardstock, hopefully. Um, let's see how that goes. But yeah, I thought that was great. And again, I think I paid it two dollars for this plus shipping. And they have all kinds of shapes. So there's all kinds of things that you can find on Cricut. They have circles, they have triangles, so not Cricut, on Wish. Um, all kinds of shapes. So it's worth looking and thinking what could that actually be used for. The other thing I bought, I think I paid 49 cents for this. It's two packs of cards, two decks. They have the little boxes. I've yet to cut them out. Uh, here's the backs of them. I don't know if you can see it. It's that like red card pattern. So yeah, I thought that was cute and worth buying. Okay, so the next thing is, I'm just going to try and continue on, is Amazon. Um, I bought this storm door on Amazon. This is a really nice screen door. Um, it's got the screen actually in it. It's all hinged. Um, it's all trimmed out on the on the front. On, well, this would be the outside. Um, I would have to trim it on the inside, I would think. Um, the door does open towards the inside, unless you wanted to use this from the inside and then trim it on the outside, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I thought that was really cute. The details on it are really nice. It's like a little country screen door. It's a door that I would want to have on my house here. So that's that. Then I got, what else did I get from Amazon? Oh, this I got from Amazon. I'll show you. This I thought was so cute. And this was one of the first things that I bought when I knew I had this dollhouse and I was going to furnish it was these two cute, cute, cute little chairs. Now, I don't know if you could see the detail in them. I think I paid, I want to say I paid like $17 for this. You could see the little details. They came in different colors, but I like this dark, I don't know if it's mahogany. Oh, no. He's fine. It's fine. We'll show you this one. Um, I don't know if it's dark mahogany or cherry or, but that was one of the wood cut tones that I want to use in the living room. And I just love this fact, the fact that it has a little glitter to it, the silver details. So I thought that was real cute. Again, here's the scale with the sofa table from Dollar Tree. It's pretty, pretty right on. Now let me go get that chair. Here's something I can show you. I wanted to show you this. Now it fell on the floor. It's fine. Thank goodness it didn't break because these are very um, thin legs. But look at the details. It's even finished and padded underneath the little cushion, which came came flying off. It's not glued in or anything, but the only thing is, is I wish it was a little bit better trimmed in the front, but I don't know if you had it like a, a real thin, nice cord that matched. You could put it on there. Um, I probably won't be bothered with that, but I thought those are really, really cute. 
and I really like these. This is my, probably my my first real nice quality pieces that I've bought for this house, which makes me very happy. And I'm going to put them back in the box so they don't get broken. <laughs> and in case you do buy it, this they're categorizing it as it's upside down, but it says dark brown. I think they were all white upholstery, but it was the wood colors that were different. I think they had a white, they had a a light or a light brown. This is the dark brown. Yep, 112 scale dark wood. Okay, now moving on to eBay. I had seen this, I don't know where I saw this somewhere, and it was like 20 something dollars. It was expensive. And, you know, I don't doubt that it's worth a lot of money. But I found it on eBay for $14, I think. Yeah, it was $14. And maybe $14.99, something like that. And it's a, a real wood. Nicely done bookcase. It's relatively deep. Um, I think I measured this as seven inches tall, which would make it seven feet. And it is, I think I said nine inches wide. Now, it's unfinished. Um, I had a coupon because I applied for a new um, a new eBay account because I couldn't remember the password of my old one so I signed up for a new one and I got a $10 coupon so this cost me $4.99 which was really such a great deal um, it's unfinished I wanted it unfinished because I didn't know how to match the wood now I know I want to match those chairs so that's going to be but I might also trim this out with some stuff that I can show you that I got from um, the next place that I get my stuff from. So the next place I, I go to, and this is all stuff that I bought probably since it's, it's February something right now. Um, since November, I've been picking these things up in hopes for making things on this channel. Um, and for finishing my dollhouse. So this is some basswood. Like I showed you that other wood from that I got from Wish. This is basswood. The other was balsa wood. And I have since found out since buying the other stuff that basswood is a harder wood. And it, and it, it really is. These are thicker sheets though. They're assorted so, um, thicknesses. They're all different in there. But it's pretty much the same the same dimensions this way so um, this was a great buy it also has these little thinner sticks which come in it's gonna be hard to show you but they come in about that thickness and then that split in half so then some little tiny ones which will make real good um, trimming for something like this or for a wall, if you wanted to do like a wainscoting, 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 I don't know. Um, let me know what you call it, wainscoting, Wain, wainscoting, I don't know. But um, to do like a little frame here inside each panel, um, maybe a, even a trim up along here would be cool. Um, but you could do that along a wall. I can make this look like it's built in also, you know, by doing the same thing to the if you notice these each one of these is probably the same width as this or close enough I could continue this as floor molding too by put doing three of these and make it look like a built-in but we'll see so yeah that was at Hobby Lobby and I bought this for eight dollars and ninety nine cents and it says there's approximately a uh, half a board foot, whatever that means, of random sizes and shapes. I thought that was a really great buy. If you go in sometimes and try to buy single pieces, they're they're really expensive. So I got that. 
from Hobby Lobby. And the other thing I got from Hobby Lobby, which I'm going to need for the roof to finish it, is a bag of 500, it says hand split octagonal pine shavings, eastern white pine. It's 500 pieces. It's from Real Good Toys, which is a dollhouse, uh, which is a website. Um, you can get all kinds of dollhouse kits. And they have some really nice products. Um, but this was $12.99. It's not bad. It's a nice big size. I, I'm hoping I don't need more than 500 shingles to fix this roof. Because I'm going to have to do a lot of chipping off. So I, I'm hoping that 500 is enough. Um, the last kit I bought, I also from Wish, but I had used it to repair the little dormer section. Um, I, I went through them so fast because some when you're trying to fit them in, some of the ones you don't want to break off, break off. So I just thought, go for the big bag instead of keep having to keep buying smaller bags of it. So, yeah, that's from Hobby Lobby, those two things. That, now, Hobby Lobby has other stuff. They have a lot of you know, nice stuff. They have kits and they have all kinds of miniatures. I, the last time I went, this, these two things were, that was all I bought. That was all I found worth buying. Now, interestingly enough, I have found these. Um, a friend of mine sells paparazzi jewelry and she does videos and she showed these online and I saw them and I said, I have to have them. And why? Not for my ears, but if you look at it really close, it looks like it can be a macrame wall hanging. Now, I would probably put some wooden, try to find some real tiny wooden beads, maybe do, because I, I, I have been known to do macrame in the past, maybe try to make um, some kind of things out of these tassels to make it look more like macrame. Um, but yeah, that's a cute little wall hanging. You never know where you're going to find things. I mean, this was $5 for this pair. But that's why I bought them. I, I, I don't think I'd wear them. They would probably annoy me, but um, they'll make great wall hangings. And I have two. So they were only two fifty dollars each. Now, the last place, which I think is the last, um, is... I, I am a member, let me clean up some of this stuff while I talk, I'm a member on a Facebook page, and I will have to post what it's called, but it's, um, it's sort of a dollhouse miniature garage sale type of place, where you can buy, uh, oh, sorry, I have one more thing from Amazon I wanted to show you. This was a great deal. Now, this is, it says 50 pieces of natural bamboo. These are individual. They're all the same size. And it's just 50 strips of bamboo. Now, you could use this for anything. Like I said, you could use this for the trimming um, for that built-in unit I was talking about. Or you can use this. For floor molding, you can add it to some of those little strips and make some crown molding. Um, you could put, use this for furniture. You could probably use it for flooring, although I think it, I think it's a bit thick for that. Um, but it's not a bad idea. Um, you could use it for trimming out the other side of doors or windows. I think it's pretty much this, almost the same. Sorry. Almost the same width. So there's so many things you can do with this. I paid, I believe it was $5.99 for all of these. I bought a pack of molding. It was four, four pieces of molding off of um, a miniature site. And I think I paid $12.99. They're pre-primed and they, they kind of look like clamshell molding. You know, like real molding would look. But I think this I could get away with using this for sure in the same way. 
and I have 50 pieces. So yeah, that was also from Amazon. This is a great deal. I'm going to try and show you. So if you wanted to look it up, what it is. But I love this. I love this. I was so excited when I saw that. And I said, that's a great idea. Okay, so back to the Facebook page. It's a thing where there's a few buyers. They, I guess they somehow get lots of miniatures. I don't know where they get them from. Like somebody passes away and they have a, like a whole collection. They get them. Um, there's, I think, two or three buyer uh, sellers on there. And you, they'll post, they'll announce when they're going to have a sale. So let's say they're going to have it tomorrow. They'll post a bunch of pictures at whatever time they say. And everybody goes on, scans through the pictures, and marks, writes down underneath the picture in the comments, writes sold. And if they're the first ones to get the sold in, they get to purchase the item. So here's one of the things. Um, this is, you can tell, it's not, it's not a brand new product, but it's new. It's still in the packaging. Um, these are three little lattice strips, probably used, made in China, but printed the label in the U.S. <laughs> I love how they do that. Um, so this sold originally at a store called Toy Train for $10.98 for this package of three, but I paid $6 for it. So, yeah, do I know what I'm going to do with this? No, it's not enough to trim out the whole bottom of the house. They only had one package of three. But, you know what? I don't know. I'll figure something out. It's too cute, and for $6, you can't beat that. So, other thing I bought, a little package. Still in the package. It's, you know, they're not the greatest books, but there are 12 books in here hoping you can see them okay yeah there's four colors brown blue green and red um, and one in the front here seems to be losing a page but that's good that's cute for character um, I it's filler you know what when looking at dollhouse uh, photos the one thing you'll notice is that the ones that really look real have a lot of stuff they have a lot of details that you would but the details are what makes it look real and if that's what you're going for get things like this as filler I make some books too and I'll I'll probably do a tutorial on them um, then there's stuff like this that I also got I paid a dollar for this I thought I thought it looked more like let's see how close can I get I thought it looked more like little over easy eggs but now I'm thinking it's cookies on a cookie tray um, again little details put this on a counter make it look like you're just baking cookies in your kitchen just something better than an empty kitchen you know with just the basic stuff it adds to the character it adds you know makes it more homey then I'm going to skip this because I can't get that open right away. I got this refrigerator. Um, I am not sure that this is the right size, the right scale. To me, it looks like it might be too big as far as an old-fashioned refrigerator goes. But uh, when I un unpackage my character, we'll put her next to a couple of things and see... See how she looks. But this is really a cute item. It's got great little hinges. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it because it doesn't have a it doesn't have a uh, price tag on it. It was just like this. So it might have been in somebody's house. The little handle on it too is really cute. But um, yeah, whether I keep it this color, I don't know. We'll see if this even makes it into the house. But uh, that's just an example. And in, it can go into another house one day. Because I'm sure this won't be the first one. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got was 
this cute little sewing machine. Oh, I really, really hope you can see the details on that. It's so cute. It's metal. It was five bucks. There's the original tag. The other side doesn't have any, but it's so cute. You can tell. You can tell it's age or it's been really, you know, in the boxes and stuff by the way the cellophane looks. But I love that. I used to have um, my grandmother's sewing machine that looked very much like that. But uh, when I moved, it got lost. And I'm heartbroken about it. So I figured, why not put one in the dollhouse? Then there's this little cactus. It's in the wrong bag. I paid a dollar for this. I don't know why I thought it would be really small. It's not. I thought it would be like, you know, a little tiny one that I could put on a windowsill. But it's not. It's bigger. And for some reason to me it looks out of scale. Oop, one of the little rocks just came off. Okay. There's a couple other things in here. And then I think we'll call it for this video. It's another little dog. It's a little poodle. I thought this was so cute. It's a very vintage looking. Um, <laughs> it's hard to see a little black dog. But I you know my miniature dachshunds, my real miniature dachshunds, um, are hard to photograph. They're black and tan. And, and but look how cute it is. I love him. I'm going to put him with his little puppy friends. <laughs> then I got this little um, cutting board. It's got a little knife, some little crackers, and a cut apple. And there's the apple slice that was cut out. So that can go on a counter and look really cute. Obviously, it's not in a, wouldn't be good in the cabinet, but on a counter, it would be look like you know somebody was just making hors d'oeuvres. Then I got these two. You can see I paid a, a dollar fifty for them. This was a great buy, I thought, because I've seen them a lot less quality um, for more money. Um, it's like a little bottle brush. How cute is that? I'm just missing a berry. I think they both are. Yeah, they each are missing one berry. But that's not, that's not hard to fix. Plus, I'd probably put more on it anyway. That's really cute. I love that. My phone keeps cutting off, telling me that I've reached too much time. So I'm going to try and do this real quick. These are two different sets. The red set. Let me try and zoom in. The red set was together that was four dollars it's a little metal coffee there's the little lid coffee set if you can see it's got little white speckles on it I need to touch up the little spout excuse my fingers my hands are a wreck from this weather um, and then four, came with four little cups they don't really stand up great see so if I put this in a scene, they would have to be either hanging from their little handles or, which isn't a bad idea, or uh, use some museum wax and stand them up. up. And these were separate. This, these two were a dollar. I can barely hold them. Um, and these are little, light blue, whoops, <laughs> little teeny weeny things are not so easy. Do you see them? They're little turquoise with little rough edges. They remind me of little cups I used to use camping. They were like little aluminum or tin cups, but they have this little white speckle on them. I love those. So cute. And the last thing that I got and I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back one more time to Amazon because I, I see something on my table here that I really should show you, um, but that might also be in a separate video. Is this cute little mouse? Look at him. Now, when I saw him, oh, he's so sweet. When I saw him on 
um, the Facebook page, they don't really, you can't really tell the, the size. I used to have one that looked like him, but it was really tiny, probably as tiny as one of these cups. So it looked like a little mouse would be in your house and you can put him in there. Um, but I had a whole collection of these there. The brand was, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. They used to be on a card. They're like kind of glued to paper. And I think the brand is ha pronounced Hagen Reniker. And they have such cute things. There's a little cat that would drink out of milk. That would be good for uh, like a spilled bucket of milk. I think I, ha I still have. I have to pull out that collection um, of little it's ceramic. They're just so cute. Um, but I thought he was going to be tiny enough to put in the house as a real mouse, but he's not. Obviously, he's he's bigger than the dogs. Um, I'll put him over here so you can see. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was really sweet. I think I paid a dollar for that, too. I, yeah. Well, two dollars, I think I paid for him. And then... The last thing that I got, which I haven't even tried yet. Oh, it says try me. Oh, here we go. Okay, now I don't want to blind you. Is these little tiny, they're called puck puck lights. Now they remind me of those those lights you can put in a closet and you just tap it. Um, but they're like big, kind of like a real puck size. These are tiny. There's five of them. They have little stickers on them. Um, I don't remember, I don't remember what I paid for them. Um, they weren't expensive. I think they were under $10. But it says try me, which I didn't even notice before. So this might be blinding, but let's see. Do I push this button? Oh, yeah. So what I thought was these would be great light fixtures. I mean... I'm not doing electric in this house because I don't know how to do it. And uh, this is going to be enough of a project for me that I didn't want to add electric into it. Um, so I thought maybe I would do electric on my next house. But in the meantime, I want to be able to see in my rooms. So I thought this was a great way to add lighting Um maybe build some kind of fixture on it or if not just have it as you know like a light to see inside each room so uh there's only five i would probably need a few more but i figured i would buy one package and just check it out it's waterproof there's 10 hours of run time um, it's super bright sticks anywhere and you could replace so that is the last thing that i have to show you Right as of now, <laughs> I have more stuff coming in the mail. Um, I have next week will be um, an earth, earth and tree haul. That's where I bought a lot of stuff. I spent over a hundred and thirty dollars. Um, I bought windows for the house, and I bought some staircase material to make stairs. So I will show you and a few other things. And uh, the other thing I got was a, um, a bunch of kits from Bentley House Miniatures, which we will, I will build for you guys. I'll do videos of building each one of the kits and uh, painting. I think I got some 3D printed pots from her too. I'm not sure uh, what else I got. But yeah, so that'll be in a future video. Um, it is still snowing. I can't believe it. Oh. <sighs> Well, I like snow. I like having the snow day off. It's the trudging through the snow to the barn that's going to kill me again this afternoon. Um, and keeping my poor animals locked up because it's really cold out. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any suggestions, any questions, or you just want to say hi, um, leave me a comment down below. And I'd love it if you subscribed and we'll go on this journey of building my dollhouse or repairing or re renovating or restoring this old house <laughs> uh, together, right? 
Um, all right, guys. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.